Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're gonna create this background here. Uh, I hope you can see it. It's like tiny particles moving around like stars. So we're gonna create this using particle JS and we won't need like programming skills. You don't need to you know JavaScript or anything like that, just HTML and CSS. And I'm gonna show you how. So let's get right to it. Let's go in Visual Studio. We create a new folder. New. Let's call it star. Select star. So I'll close this. So this is our new folder. So we create a new file. Let's call it index.html. Oops. Let's delete that, sorry. This one. And let's create a new folder called CSS. In that new folder, we'll create a CSS file called main.css. We'll also create a oh, scratch a GS folder. And so let's start writing our HTML. Exclamation mark, enter. So let's change the title. And let's link our CSS. Star sheet type text CSS and provide the link so CSS slash there you go. That's done. And in our body, we'll create a div. Div ID. Let's call it BG as in background. So this is where our star background will be situated. And let's do our text there you go so let's see how it looks very promising and also we would need to link our JavaScript So let me first show you. Uh, let's go download particle JS. So that's a one. That's a main website to download particle JS. So click on download. Showing folder. Extract it. So we just need this file here. Copy it. Let's go in our star folder. Paste it here. Here's it. We'll so create a new one called custom JS. So there's two files in the JS folder. 
I'll show you how it looks here. So that's basically a compile compilation of the particle JS codes and we don't really need to be concerned about that. We just need to have it linked to our file. So let's close it. Let's do the CSS part now. So that's for the whole HTML border box. So it's, this is to reset everything. Zero padding as well. For the body, let's change the font. I like to use Lato. Let's change the background color to black. And the height to 100%. For the text, let's change the color to white. The font size to 72 pixel. And let's put it in the middle. the edge. Uh, that's too low. Here we go. And we also give it like a nice shadow, like a nice glow. So we can do that by, the, by typing text shadow. Zero, zero, ten pixel RGBA. So this is opacity. It's a bit too high. Let's try 35. There we go. So let's link our JavaScript now. Script type JavaScript. Let's locate it. JS slash particle. Close it. And let's link the custom JS as well. So we won't see anything because we have to include the PG element as well. PG, so position has to be absolute. Top, zero, left, zero, zero. And yep, so what we do is we go here again on Google and because we're not programming anything, that's why we're making it as simple as possible. So we go in the code pen website. So this that's how, that's how originally it looks. So don't worry about the HTML and CSS. Just want the GS part. So copy everything here. And paste it in the custom GS. And since we called it JS in the HTML, we, sorry, we call it BG. So we change that to BG. Here we go. So yeah. Let's also 
change the z index put it far in the background minus one so we don't you we don't have the line it anymore and we'll put the text on the front So let's start playing around with the attributes. Let's reduce the value. There we go. Reduce this one as well. else can we change I've got a note here so I'm looking at my note I don't want this video to be too long so it's gonna be random true true Speed is too high, so 0 0.1. Size, reduce size. Speed one I oh, forgot to enable it. Remove the links. It's still too fast. Here it is. It's in the move section, so 0 0.3. Here we go. If you don't want it to move at all, just put 0. It won't move. But I prefer it with at least some slide movement let's put some random and what else i think that's it reload if you want to play around a bit Can add some more here. Some more stars. You can change the background color. Put it red or whatever. But yeah, I'll change it back to black. So here you go. I hope you enjoy this video. And I wanted to thank you guys for giving me some feedbacks on my last videos. I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video, so just make sure you give it a like. It really helps my channel. Thank you. I'll see you later. Bye.